next. And so in this house here, how many children, how many people lived in this house? Eleven people. Well, we had only two bedrooms, so the boys took the biggest bedroom, and I had bunk beds in there, and the girls slept on the couch in the living room, and um, Joe and I took the small bedroom. When was the last time you were here? I was here last year, around this time. Does it still give you the same good memories as it did before coming back? Yes. See the people of Gary open you with open arms. Yes. You mean a lot to this town, don't you? Well, I hope so. <laughs> and the world, for that matter. I hope so. Back in the days, you guys. I'm talking back in the day oh, when I was raising okay. the children. Oh, okay. And uh, Joe's would rather buy, which was which I understand, <laughs> and I I understood then, because you know buy instruments for the children, guitars and amplifiers and things like that because. But one day he said we wouldn't have to worry about the size of the house we'd be able to buy, and which was true. But um, when did you leave, Gary? 1969. And went straight to Los Angeles. Yes. The kids left about four or five months before I did, because they were there recording and everything, getting set up. And Janet was, she was acting at the time, wasn't she? She was what? She was acting at the time, when you, um, shortly after you moved to Los Angeles, I believe. No. Mm -mm. Well, we moved to Los Angeles, Janet was only three. Oh, okay. Two and a half going on. So that would have been more than this. Does somebody stay here? Or is it, does somebody just stop by to take care of the house and the yard? No, we had a cousin living here at the time. And uh, he lived here until about a year ago. Let's see. About a year, huh, Bobby? Two years now. Two years ago? Yeah, two years now. That's right, two years. You did a good job remodeling. Yeah. Hmm? did a good job remodeling. You did a good job remodeling. Who, me? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You guys did a great job. Yeah, because he... He let the house go. Oh, no, it's okay. How about Michael's art and going to the store with his allowance? Mm -hmm. I haven't talked about that, but I was, I was thinking about something else. I don't know how old they were. Uh, do you remember, Bobby, when, when they sang um, for you and you told me, said, Kate, um, you should get hey, those. Roosevelt. Hmm? Hey, Roosevelt. Yeah, you told me that I should take oh, the them down to Roosevelt show. to get it, to enroll them into the talent show. Yeah. And uh, so when I was saying, I didn't think that they were ready for that because these were high school kids. Yeah. And they weren't in high school. They were because Michael was about what six or seven, yeah, he was six or seven. But anyway, they wanted to be enrolled, and we took them down there and enrolled, you know, into the talent show. Signed them up, I should say, signed them up for talent show, and um, they won first place against a high school kid. So was, was Michael involved? At Michael that was time? yes. Oh yeah. So he was involved at that mm -hmm. time. Yeah. At that time. That's the kind of stuff I think. You mm -hmm. Together, and then all the time they um, they would go around to all the different schools right. and play. Mm -hmm. And the fire chief that was sitting here next to me. No, I didn't see him. His name is Donnie. You remember yeah. Donnie? Remember Donnie boy. And I forget the name of this group. He was here last year. Well, the beginning of this year. He, he is a very good guitarist. He's still very good. He is. Oh, and yes. and they used to. Down in Joseph's cousin's basement, Donnie Boy and the, and the, my boys used to always play when when they'd have parties. Remember Ann's basement? Mm -hmm. And uh, Donnie Boy was there with them. And uh, but I never saw Donnie in any of the um, uh, the contest, the talent. When did you first see MJ's love of giving to charity? You want to do that one? Say what? When did you first see Michael Jackson's love of giving to, to, to uh, charity? To giving to people. Basically. Being a giving person. Oh, that that was when Michael was here in Gary. I guess I, mm, I guess he was about four or five years old, even before then. But as far as then, when he used to get his allowance, and after he started singing with the group, which was five or six years old, Joe used to give him allowance. And Michael would take his allowance and go down to the corner store buy candy. And he liked to play, uh, a, a, I guess, a grocer or candy store man. 
and he would sit his little candy up in his in the room back there, <laughs> and he would take two two uh, things and put a plank across it. Hello, and uh, the kids would come in or either out of the back window. He would just give his candy away. Oh, he would just give it away, and some of them come in and take a, and uh, they would um, he would take candy bar and. For a penny or something, he just wanted to play like he was a storeman and oh, just give the candy. But he would give them. When Michael listened to music, who did he listen to? Why, well, my goodness! Um, when he was young, he used to listen to The Temptation. <laughs> that was true. Oh, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I forgot. He, he thought was, it was me. Well, she thought it was me. Was you should have told me. I'm, I was just being comfortable. I, I wasn't thinking that he was filming me sitting around. He, he like, but anyway, um, you know. But okay, so I, when, I, so I when Michael I was having an interview, oh. <laughs> that's a good interview because we were saying, yeah, go on. Okay, so um, who who did he listen to? Oh, he listened to The Temptation mostly, Motown, I should say, you know. And other groups too. And he ended up going to Motown, huh? Hmm? And he ended up signing going, with Motown. Yes, signing with Motown. Okay. Well, okay. at that time, everybody wanted to go to Motown. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is it, Bobby? Uh, I said that Motown was the thing then. Mm -hmm. When he signed up with Motown, was he thrilled? Did he think back to the fact that he oh, used to. They wanted to go to Motown more than anything else. But they had offers for other companies, but Joseph took them to Motown. Who came up with the King of Pop? Who came up with it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I know the media was saying for a long time, self-proclaimed King of Pop. Right. His work speaks for itself. I don't have to say anything else. I and I'm not that you. kind of person. I don't boast. But uh, it's, it's just enough. that something he earned. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he was self-proclaimed King of Pop. I think people did that. People named him King of Pop. That's the best. That's now, the best way to get a name. And then, and now they say he's the undisputable King of Pop. So. Mm. Okay. Humble beginnings. And he was humble beginnings. Huh? And Michael died humble, even though he died rich, but he died humble. I always remain. That way. Always was. Oh, I'm okay. Did you know about this song? What more can I give? Yeah. Yeah, I knew about the song, um, and everything, but um, did he ever finish it? I believe he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, that's what Because they had Beyonce and everybody. Yes. Yes. That's what they were singing. Yeah. Yeah, that's finished. I don't never think it was mentioned it was for that. Released. He never think. released it. Usually if he had have, um, released it, he probably would have made sure that it yeah. made it, knowing him. Yeah, he'd have had his marketing people running north, south, east, and west with that song. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, though. So, when you were back here in Gary, what, what was the first competition or the first contest that uh, the kids entered? The first contest? Yeah. That was Roosevelt when he went. Roosevelt High School probably was. Well. And after that they uh, entered all the other, all the schools um, had um, no, uh, talent shows at certain times. And all the kids around Gary would enter them. And then after they finished with the talent shows, then they would they had a citywide talent show several times in um, I don't know I don't have a picture. They won first place in the citywide contest. The, the Mike was about six years mom? old. Yeah. He looked like oh he one? didn't even you have, didn't, you didn't even introduce. Yeah. No yeah she she knows as what? much as her. Yeah, but you <laughs> <might be laughs> Look, bad. Catherine hurried up and said, come on next to me. Yeah, because she knows a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. She knows about all this shit. I'm just sitting here listening that. to her, and she knows a lot about all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Trent didn't even want to introduce her sister yeah, nobody. No, could you please introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Bobby. 
Okay, Bobby Ann, what relation are you to? We're sister-in-laws. Sister-in-laws, mm -hmm. okay. There you go. So you're, you're Joe's sister? Sister-in-law. I'm Joe's sister-in-law. My husband is Joe's brother. Oh, okay. Wonderful. But when they would play with play at Mr. Lucky's, uh, there was no talent show, it was just a group. And I guess all the um, places around had heard about them, and they would just, um, like, they played in Chicago at the... Uh, is it called the uh, Regal Theater? Regal Theater. Mm -hmm. At the Regal Theater. And they played with um, Bobby Taylor, Gelatis Knight, and they went on from and quite, a, quite a few of the other big stars that were professionals at the time. And they went on to St. Louis and, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> Philadelphia, different places like that. They um, would go and play. And they were still little amateurs going around playing with the big star. What was your own personal reaction when you found out that your kids, your young children, actually signed a contract with Motown? Very, very happy. Very happy because we had sent um, some tapes to Motown, but after Bobby Taylor really took them there, we found out that they really didn't didn't get the tapes. And so Bobby Taylor was playing with them at the Regal Theater. Is it the Regal? I'm, I'm in Chicago. Yeah, the Regal. Regal, okay. Been so long, I forgot which one. <laughs> um, and uh, so he told Joe, because Joseph was supposed to leave um, from the Regal Theater and go on to New York and be with David Frost. They, back there, 40 some years ago, David Frost had a at a TV show, mm -hmm. and they were supposed to go on David Frost. And he didn't even tell me that he was going to Detroit instead of going to, and so the next day I was watching TV and watching David Frost show and they didn't show up. So um, I was scared and I was wondering what happened. And so when I called and found out, I was calling around with different people and found out that Joseph went on to, New, to um, Detroit uh, to uh, let him play for Mr. Gordy and for him to see them and right away he's um, had everybody to come over and watch them and, um, and he signed them up. He had Smokey Robinson, The Temptation, um, all the Gladys Knight yeah, they show. Mm -hmm. and, and they had a show around the swimming pool and the kids performed and he signed them up. He had a contract and um, Mr. Gordy signed them up but it took them another year before the kids even uh, went back and recorded and I mean before they I think he started them recording I have to ask Joe I forgot to ask some of the kids but it took them another year before um, they, we really they really moved out to um, California okay. well, no I didn't know where Joe was at the time I had called around to Chicago to some of the people that uh, was that knew he was coming to the Regal Theater and asked him, do they know, you know, what happened because he was supposed to have gone to New York. And um, and they told me, no, he, Bobby Taylor took him to uh, Detroit. Okay. First television. I think it was supposed to have been their first television appearance, it was. Okay, and so they missed that appearance. Mm -hmm. So what, do you remember what their very first television appearance was? But the, the name of the show I forgot. Yeah. I think it came on every Saturday night. So you were you were not there at the television studio for their first no. television. Did you see them? I on saw TV? them on television. on television. Yeah. I I got to ask you. I mean, what what's your reaction back in 1969? Yeah, 1969. Where we didn't have cable and satellite with a hundred channels. Here are your your kids. I mean. Your kids are performing on live television. What was your what was your feeling? It's hard to describe. Quite nicely, I felt proud of them, but I can't even describe the way I felt. Absolutely amazing. Where, where did you see it here? In I was here in this house. Okay. Awesome. Question about Elvis Presley. Did you ever have the honor of meeting Elvis? Yes. I met him in Las Vegas, gosh, I don't know, I think it was in the 70s, early 70s, or like 71, 
one. That's when he went something like that. Very, very exciting. Very exciting. He was very nice, for one thing. You hear a lot of stories about people and all, but you never know until you meet them. And he was very nice. He treated us very nice. And uh, at that time, Michael wasn't the king of pop then. He was really young. <laughs> I think I think Michael would have shined him, and I don't think Elvis would have wanted that. Well, Just yeah, by I, him being a kid too. Yeah. And well, that's what James Brown did. He yeah. was played somewhere, and James Brown was on the show. He was really upset because um, yeah. he didn't want to follow children. James Brown was good in his own right. Oh yeah, yes, he was. Yeah, but they just children steal the show whether they're good or not, yeah. you know, and um, I think he just didn't want to follow him. Well, so James Brown, where did Michael learn how to dance? Hmm. Right just watching TV, five. I right. guess. Just, just right here in the living room, like just doing the dance. And um, when, well, remember when Jackie and Rebe used to dance? Yeah, they used to dance real good. Too. Yeah. Uh, my two oldest kids used to dance all the time, and they won yeah. dance contests. James Brown was really somebody that Michael watching. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He watched James Brown. Mm -hmm. James Fred Brown was the best. All those people. Jackie Wilson. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. All of them. Jackie. Very good. Now, Jackie um, Wilson was something else as a dad. Oh, yes, oh that's who Elvis watched. He, he, Elvis, he Elvis would tell you he watched Jackie yeah. Wilson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think he, he stole a lot of Jackie Wilson's rip when he go down yeah. and then come back. And, and Elvis does that a lot. Yeah. Now, Miss Jackson, in the book you mentioned that Michael used to, to used to be on the washing machine and... Oh, the oh, little thing? Little yeah, the little thing. <laughs> was that here in this house? That was right here in this mm -hmm. house. And... Um, the, that little area you see where it stopped, that was a utility room. And I kept the washer in the utility room and I pull it out to the sink to wash. Plug it in. And plug it in and <laughs> wash. And it was a Maytag, the roller. Remember the rollers and yeah. that kind of washing machine? Squeeze it, close yeah. Eyes, squeeze yeah, you push them in and they roll and, and washing and rolling at the same time. It was rickety and it kept a noise squeaking noise but it was in rhythm with the washer washing and and Michael would be dancing he had his diaper and his bottle and standing in there dancing to that <laughs> rickety sound of the washing machine so he heard rhythm and everything mm -hmm. and it was rhythm mm -hmm. so he was just young and he could pick up rhythm and when the kids would uh, do their do their moves with the with the song, after they would play the record and and try to figure out what move should they do. Michael was the one figuring out the moves. Mm. And then, yeah. yes. So he and just kind of. We didn't have a drummer. He played the congas, or the bongos. bongos. I think they were little things, yeah. sitting down between his legs. Yeah. And he played that. Well, Michael could play the drums, and uh, he never tried to play the guitar. Or anything like that. Now, if he would have wanted to have picked up the guitar, he would have. He's just that type of person. He won't let anything beat him. He would have to. He was competitive, so you know that's Very. what makes you successful. But some people are just good at everything they do because they put their heart in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 